Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to Tennis Manager. It's episode 30. We're at the Madrid Open World Tour, thousand level, way over our head. So we're just here hoping to get out of the first round into the round of 64. I don't think we're going to get much deeper than that, but let's see if we can get through one. It's one of our bigger paydays of the season, but uh, certainly not one of the things that I'm expecting to be. We do get past core patch, so 6-3, 6-3. Zero aces, but 25 winners, 14 unforced errors. We're definitely playing cleaner as the season goes on. No matter how you look at it from here, everything gets tough. But, you know, we're almost good enough to squeeze out some wins here and there among these uh, higher level competitors. But we're just, you know, in general, not quite good enough. I think our ranking is right where it should be. Let's see if we can squeeze out something. We do not. 2626. Two, six. We're down just 19 total winners. We're, we're good enough to beat lesser opponents in terms of getting winners, but we're not good enough to beat these higher level ones. And while we're cleaning up errors, and that's the kind of area we've been focused on of late in training, we haven't developed the ability to get winners against better athletes. That's, that's going to have to be the longer term goal. Regardless, getting to the round of 64 pays off with 13,000. It's a nice payday. Uh, when you throw in the, the finances that we have and the security of those finances, yeah, things are good. Things are looking good on that front. We don't need those big tournaments, but there were some points, so you might as well. Ita, her speed finally hits double digits, now a 10. It was, what, like a 7 a couple months ago, so we've worked pretty hard on that of late for her, and, and we're seeing uh, seeing the benefits of that. The intensity of the training has led to Kostanseva and Gallus both telling me they're tired, so boo-hoo, they need a little rest. Saturday afternoon and all of Sunday off isn't good enough for you? Normal people work 9 to 5. Shoot, I work 60 to 70 hours every freaking week. Actually, I feel your pain. I know. I understand. Well, anyway, uh, Youth and Scouting Center upgrade now level 2. So there you go. We have accomplished something. What we've gotten from that basic support structures it's still scout slots it's still one so actually that is it the next one plus two on the scout slots so it's the next upgrade uh, that'll push push us that little bit further along you know what there's no better time than the present to make that happen 270k that's not that expensive for us as we do have plenty of cash to throw around we've got a good seven months to make up what we need for the ne next business center upgrade and of the the other three departments the medical center not urgent really not i mean uh, it's something i want to get coming along but it's not urgent we will survive if there's injuries i don't need to be pushing to get the fourth member of our team and having to hire additional coaches at this point three is a nice pretty round number easy to work with in terms of coaching staff so okay that can wait that could wait a second scout finding better athletes available to bring in when we do finally go along and start adding more that seems a good route for me so you know what screw it there you go it's gonna be done first actually <laughs> tough challenge 280 tournament unseated even though our rank is actually pushed up now 55th but there are definitely some quality opponents and look who it is and Lowell with a first round bye sitting on the 44th rank right now really closed in on her but in terms of quality I think Anne is still slightly better than Kostin Seva but only slightly we've made so much progress where we've really closed in on her uh, the mental aspect though that Kostin Seva still lacks is really holding us back we do survive the first round so we'll at least make it as far as Anne Lowell will on her minimum let's see if we can push deeper into the tournament i think that's my only goal for this one wow we just talked about how injuries have not been a concern because you know it's 2024 and we've managed to go without any injuries thus far which is surprising but this game just doesn't seem to have a major impact from injuries and we pick up our first our first minor injury gallus gets it in match but it's some sort of pain in the toe it's going to literally be a day-to-day -day injury she'll be back in a few days 
big target of ours, Corey Goff also. She's the 13th seed here, 38th. And Lowell has made it to this point. Will she get past this point? And will Cousin Seva, who's got an incredibly tough matchup against the 3 seed? Mm, yeah, probably not. Probably not. Let's let's just sim this one. I, we don't need to see this beat down. 3 6 4 6. She didn't get her butt kicked. She played really well. Just five unforced errors, but only 26 minutes. And that's continually her issue right now is that she's still a little bit overmatched compared to the top players, the top 50 or so. While we got knocked out in the round of 32, Goff and Lowell both made it to the round of 16, but got knocked out there. So still showing that, you know, they're better than what we've got, but they're not that much better. And it's all good. Really, no worries about it. It's French Open. Uh, ow. We qualify. That's great. We're going to get a nice payday, but ow. The one seed. The one seed in the first round. Oh, we are going to get slaughtered in this one. They have never gone head to head. All right. Well, here we go. We're pumped. But, you know. We're overmatched, so <laughs> we'll see how long we survive. These Grand Slams, they do have them set for uh, five sets for whatever reason. Game has not changed that. They do their own thing for this one as opposed to how it goes in real life, but we'll see how we do in our Grand Slam. We're down one, one nil. We do earn a win in the second game, so, you know, we're not going home empty-handed. Whether we could do enough to win a set remains to be seen. I don't expect to do so. I really expect we're going to go down in straight sets. But uh, you know, if we could at least get two or three game wins per set, I'll be a happy camper. But I think I can really see that we are playing the ball in so much better than before. Usually by now we'd have quite a few unforced errors and we just don't seem to have that. Uh, first set already down. We'll continue on. Uh, let me see the statistics. There you go. Yeah, only 34% so far. No aces so far. Nine winners. I mean, we've picked ooh, 10 unforced errors, though. We are making some errors. Hey, we get the first game here, so that's good. Oh, it's the net. The net is killing us right now. I wonder what we need to train to fix that. Because... We used to be going wide a lot, and that's not the case. I mean, we've really only hit two balls out, uh, but that's eight balls, seven balls that haven't cleared the net. That's that's the problem. Having a lead in a set was cool. That was encouraging. We're still pumped. She's just presumptuous and self-assured. She's confident. She knows she's up against somebody well down in the rankings. Even though Radicanu has proven that you can see upsets, that doesn't mean we're going to see an upset here, uh, especially with the mentality issues that Kasenseva has. I, I don't think she could really overcome the best players except for one in a million kind of chances. She's got some talent, but she's not that talented and she's got some strengths but they're not that strong we are making her more well-rounded where she's not full of weaknesses she's not as prone to to making errors as she was before but she still lacks the the mental fortitude i think to really carry her through big matches uh, that's that's one thing we've been waiting quite a while is that that push that that drive that that increase in her mental strength that's going to carry her a bit further uh, but 5-4 she might actually win a set very possible she had advantage there for a moment but now at 5-5 five, five, uh, it's it's getting iffy it's getting iffy 40-30 yes she goes 6-5 not enough to win the set though because she got to win by two and she's going into tiebreakers She's going to get it to tiebreakers at the very least. This is an excellent set, but she's trailing 3-1. It's, it, yeah, it's getting worrying. <laughs> Down 5-2, 5-3, still alive. 
Hang it in there. Oh. But she's down. Not out, but that was really that was that was her only hope. She's not gonna win this set. It's not happening. She had her chance. That was her chance. Now she's angry. Svetlana is thrilled, you know, but it's, it's it is what it is. There's that mental issue that she has. You know, as good as she's been and as well as we've been able to get her to uh, develop. She, you know, she's two and a half stars now, by the way. So we, we are progressing. She was one and a half stars when she joined us. Now she's a two and a half star player. She's developing rapidly still. I mean, it's, just, it's good. It's really good. But it's just, we know her weaknesses. And those weaknesses are definitely a problem. And we're handling it. We're dealing with it. It's getting better, like I said, but the mental part isn't, at least hasn't for a while. I mean, it's been a it's been a good year since that last progress uh, that she made in, the, in that mental category. I'd love to see a week here where that suddenly jumps by two points, three points, full level, whatever. Really needed the game. Well, needed because it meant set. Anyway, I mean, it was 3-5, and that one made it 4-5, but, uh, yeah, she dropped it. When it was 3-4, she dropped it, and then she dropped it again, and that was it. Done. Over. Kaput. She's out. Oh, minor injury. Ankle. One to three days. No worries. Payout, though, almost 50K. Now, see, this is a wonderful thing. Just over a month ago... Our balance is right where it is now. We just spent 250k on an upgrade, and after just a little over a month, we earned 250k and have bounced right back to where we were in the finances department. That's pretty solid. And we wrap up the clay season. We'll also wrap up the episode a little early today. Ranking jumping for uh, for Gallus up 20, though she didn't necessarily have the best stretch. Five tournaments, just seven wins through there. Ita moves up in the rankings by 20 spots, seven tournaments again, but also not as effective. And in fact, only 50% win rate for her. Kasatseva, she moves up four spots, but not a great period. It was only five tournaments, though. She wins 11 out of the 15 matches that she played. So only one tournament victory through there. Percentage-wise, though, neck and neck with where she was. Gallus, serve power, plus one, now a nine. She's still very, very weak. We need some work. Uh, it was a light week of training, but she actually still made really good progress with some focused training on serve power. Uh, but I'm trying to give her some time off as she is very fatigued. Kasanseva, meanwhile, was normal. I didn't want to push her into hard training this week as she had needed a rest, though really she didn't. It was just mental. Uh, but the drop shot, Approaching that 10, that's something I've been focusing on. Once I hit that, I'll, I'll leave off the drop shot for a while, but I've been trying to get it from a 7 up to a 10, and we're nearly there. Agility, backhand, both coming up. Backhand accuracy, I've quietly been trying to push that one towards a 12, get her a little bit better. That's one of her deeper skills that I I felt needed some work. That does it for this one, though. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.